Well, greetings guys and welcome to another vlog from myself and of course Mr. Carpound Henry who's eagerly waiting his cup of tea. Uh, but yeah, I cannot tell you how great it feels to be back behind the rods at long last. It's been a very barren year for myself. I haven't done much fishing. I don't normally fish during the summer anyway because we're busy at the tackle shop. Um, and then I sort of get out sort of mid-autumn. But this year that just hasn't happened. Uh, I managed to get out sort of um, back end of November. Um, I came down the lake just to film some products. And uh, finally, finally had a fish in my arms again it, it i tell you what it meant so much for me because i hadn't had since that point i didn't have a fish or a carp um since i fished in france early in the year which was sort of early may so it, it was literally what are you talking sort of eight months and that is the longest i've ever been in the last sort of oh god 12 15 years almost i guess so um it meant so much to me to have that fish but um and it was an absolute peach as well. I'll, uh, I'll cut back to that footage, you can watch that. This was the footage from literally about a month ago. Have a look at this. Well, here we are guys. My first fish, which feels like an age. I have not fished for literally probably about well, three months it's been. And uh, I've done one session in that time, so uh, just one of those in it. Unfortunately, sometimes life <laughs> throws your food curveballs. This one's having a go. So welcome back, Dino. Uh, but what a beautiful, beautiful fish to welcome ourselves back with. Look at that. What an absolute peach of a looking car. Absolutely over the moon to get this one. And it means so, so much. I cannot tell you how much this to means to me. Um, Thank you so much, Mr. Mirror. The rod was out, literally, I'm not even lying, 40 seconds. And it just goes to show this time of year, put it in the right place and you can have them. So uh, yeah, over the moon with this one. Absolutely proper buzzed up. So uh, I'll flip around and I'll show you the other side. So yeah, I was chuffed to bits to get that one. Like, like I said, being that first one, it just meant so much to me. And I could not believe it. The rod was in the water seconds and it, um, it was just meant to be, you know, and then um, literally I plopped the rod back in the same area again, carried on filming the product I was supposed to be doing. I was only there for a couple of hours. Uh, I just thought I'd take me rods while I was there, you know, so it was a complete bonus sort of uh, fishing session. Um, and literally an hour later again, it's gone. Uh, same rod again, uh, which resulted in this absolute gorgeous looking fish. So yeah, chuffed a bits to get that one as well. Really, really nice looking kipper. Um, and that was it. it I was at the lake no more than sort of three hours packed up and got home and I had two amazing looking fish like that so uh, yeah over the moon with them too um, then I managed to get out for a night probably about a week later um, I did an overnighter and that resulted in this one check this one out again I'll pass you back to the footage of me waffling peeing with rain middle of the night but uh, check this absolute scaly beastie out We've had one. We've bagged a fish and it is absolute cracker. Check him out. He's in the net at the moment, just waiting for his pictures to be taken, but it looks a really nice scaly one. So um, looking forward to getting him out. So uh, less waffling. Let's go and get the prize, see what he looks like, see what he weighs. And uh, just as I promised, it is an absolute peachy looking fish. Check that absolute cracker out. Wow all in its winter colours, scaly as you like, I will take that absolute mega, just over £22 and uh, yeah, could not be happier, that is a real result, a real result, a real result. <laughs> so again, just, uh, you know, a really beautiful looking fish, over the moon to get it, uh, especially that time of year. And um, then I think a couple of weeks later, which would be sort of two weeks ago from this point, uh, I managed to get out with me good old mucker, Mr. Ting Tong, everyone's favourite northerner. Uh, me and Tong haven't fished together for many, many years. I think the last time we fished together was about 10 years ago when Blackthorn Fishery first opened. Uh, so it's been a long time coming. We normally fish this time of year with Mozza. I always get together with him, but um, he was called away on DNA winter series duty. So uh, he had to make his way down south. 
further south than he already is. Uh, we were all supposed to fish together, the three of us, but um, obviously Mozza got pulled away. So me and Tong stayed up here in North Shropshire, uh, got on the bank, chewed the fat, uh, you know, just one of those sessions where we just had a lovely fire, good food, and just put the worlds to right, you know, and it was really, really great to be back out with him again. Of course, this one joined us as well, so um, yeah, it was nice, it was really good. So hopefully there'll be a few more sessions we can get together. Definitely, I think in the spring, all three of us are gonna try and get out again with hopefully the workloads won't get in the way. So that's the plan anyways, but um, that brings us up to this point. Here we are today uh, on what we're at now. It's about a week before Christmas Day, so I'm hoping for an early Christmas present from Santa. Um, there's a few fish been coming out as well around the lake. They're looking absolutely amazing condition at this time of year, which they always are in the winter. This is why I fish so much in the winter, because they're at good weights and they're looking just incredible. So um, here's open for a lovely winter carp. So. Um, like I said, I've kept me fishing really simple. I'm just fishing sort of pop-up rigs, fishing a mixer of a 50-50 between the cell and the essential cell. Great winter baits. Um, and I've, I've not gone silly. I've gone sort of 50, hook, uh, 50 freebies over each hook bait and just dotted them around the lake. And all you're trying to do this time of year is just locate them. You know, if you can locate them this time of year, you know, you can, there's a chance of one. And it, because that pocket of fish is holding together, you know, you could have multiple catches as well during the winter. So. Um, if we find them, I think uh, we could be in for a couple, you know, so fingers crossed between now and when we go, we shall wink one out for you. Um, I shall keep you posted. If anything happens, you will be the first to know. I'm going to crack on and enjoy me brew. He'll no doubt go to sleep and hopefully we will speak to you shortly. We are in. Got one in, buddy. We got one in, man. Hopefully, we can get it in, buddy. What do you reckon? I'll tell you what given a good account for itself, I'll give him that. Jesus, it's pulling my arm off. I'll tell you what, it hasn't been that long, you know, the rod's been out probably about an hour, hour and, hour and 20 maybe. Uh, and this was taken in about 20, probably 23 foot of water. So uh, obviously they've moved into the deeper water during this cold spell. It's been very, very cold lately. We had a load of snow last night as well. So, uh, yeah. Come on, that big, dark, scaly beastie. I know. What's the matter? <laughs> We've got a fish, bud. We've got a fish. Yeah. Yeah, you happy we've got a fish as well? What's the matter? You tell him. You tell him to get in the net. You gonna tell him to get in the net? That's a nice one. Bud. Not for me in the net. <laughs> All right, bud. All right. Don't worry. We can try and get him in. That looks a really nice fish, guys. Nice dark scaly bump. Just what we wanted. There. <laughs> I think he's more excited than I am. In. Yes! Come on! All right, all right. All right. Henry, just calm, calm. Well, 
That looks an absolute wicked, wicked looking mirror. Nice looking 20 pound there, might be a high 20, but dark, just what we wanted. Ease over the moon, as you can tell. And uh, so yeah, got about half an hour of light left. So we'll grab the map, get everything sorted, and uh, we'll show you what we got. But it looks an absolute wicked, wicked belter. Well, here we are, guys. This is the first of the session and an absolute belter, 23 pound, just what I wanted, dark and golden. Absolutely a peachy looking fish. Yes, Henry, it's all for you. Uh, check that one out. <laughs> yeah, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. But um, yeah, look at that, that is an absolute cracker. Over a damn moon to get that one, wicked. Couldn't ask for a better looking fish, could you, for December? Absolutely awesome. So, um, yeah, Whew, blown away, really am. To get one so quick as well, I didn't really fancy my chances within the sort of first few hours, so um, I thought it might have been tomorrow morning, but uh, yeah, what a cracker. Right, I will flip around and I'll show you the other side of this awesome looking creature. And there we go, there's the other side. What an absolutely beautiful, beautiful car. Those colours are just something else, aren't they? Absolutely awesome. And this is the reason I go winter fishing, because they look like this, you know? Absolutely mega. <laughs> right. Uh, I've had my time with her. I'm going to give her a little kiss. Mwah, thank you very much. We'll get her back. The rod's already back on the spot, so you never know. So uh, if anything else happens, you'll be the first to know from me and the wandering hound. Yeah, so hello Henry. <laughs> we'll put him back and we'll speak to you shortly. Good morning. I'm um, sorry, mouthful of biscuit. Mm -mm. Uh, just enjoying the first cup of tea of the day, and he's waiting for his little bit of the tea of the day. Um, but yeah, nothing to report fish-wise. Very quiet night. Bloody cold night as well. Absolutely, really cold last night. And um, having a, a wet, smelly dog next to your night is uh, not the one. I can tell you that much. But. Um, we got up this morning, first light, had a bit of a walk about, went for a sprut, didn't we, bud? And um, yeah, nothing to report, all quite quiet, nothing to, you know, nothing, to, no shows or no signs of fish anyway. So uh, we're going to stay where we are. Um, I've just had a couple of beeps on the right hand rod. Now that happened yesterday, sort of 20 minutes later, and it was away. So uh, I'm hoping that means they've sort of moved back into that area. We've got the hook bait, uh, which may result in another fish. Here we go, happy days. But. Um, yeah, it's given a bright sunshine day today. High pressure creeping back up again. Lovely, lovely highs of four degrees. Aren't we lucky? Um, so yeah, one where the thermal coat will stay on. We'll keep drinking tea and we'll keep you posted if out happens. Cheers. Well, we are in. <laughs> Same rod again as last night. And uh, it's just holding bottom at the moment. This lake is so deep. The fish use the depth to their advantage and just hold bottom, keep surging down those deeper parts. But uh, yeah, chuff to get one. Well, hope, hopefully get one. Uh, we've got to bite anyway. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to concentrate. I'm trying to get this in now. I think we just had a 30 pounder. 
what a result. Right, so here we go guys. That is the result of that fight. That looks a proper, proper chunk. Absolutely broad back. He's happy. You're gonna stand guard for a bit now, aren't you bud? I'll take it as the tail is wagging, it's a yes. So right, you look after him and I can get all the mat. So uh, yeah, I'll get the mat and everything sorted now and uh, we'll get this absolute chunk, proper December chunk out and have a look. So it's a week before Christmas, Dino. You know, you've just caught a 35 pounder. How do you feel? Smear it flat. My word. <laughs> oh. I can't get over it. I, I wanted a, a fish, to, but um, to get a stunner like we had yesterday and now a 35 pounder, just unbelievable. 35.12 it settled on. And uh, yeah, what a result. What a result. So, so happy. My God. Whew. It fought like something else. This is a proper broad fish. Nice scales on him as well. He looks a belter. But have a look at that absolute cracker. My word, oh, it's freezing. My hands are absolutely freezing. Uh, but, uh, oh my God, I'm lost for words a little bit. That is an absolute cracking fish. Oh my word, this is why we go, in it, eh? This is why we go, to have moments like this. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you wait months, years, and it's blank sessions just to have a couple of moments with them. But it is so worth it. What an amazing creature. But he, <laughs> right, I will spin it around and uh, show you the other side of this, this magnificent creature. Awesome, Mwah. thank you so much. the other side all right here we go there we go there's the other side 35 12 taken on that essential cell pop-up in amongst 53 bees I've recast the rod again that's back out there and again I've topped up um, with sort of 53 bees again with the throwing stick and uh, who knows we've got another night left but uh, in my eyes that is a session and half completed already. What a result. Yes! Mwah, thank you. <laughs> Hang dogs off, eating sticks and sniffing now. So I'll go and find out where he is, get this one back, and uh, it 100% is bacon bite time. Oh, yes! The fish on. Oh, it's coming in now, but it's coming in. There we go. 
number three. <laughs> oh man, we are having a wicked, wicked winter session. We got Paul. Got a nice. He's a nice 20 pounder anyway. Lovely mid 20 by the looks of it. Take that all day long. Well, here was the result of that fight. A lovely looking mid 20 mirror. You can see the little uh, essential cell hanging out of his gob there. So it's all good. Definitely got a spot rocking out there now. Um, all fish have come off that one area, so I might move one of the other rods over closer to that now. Uh, but uh, yeah, cannot ask for a better session for December. Three absolute wicked looking fish. A uh, very happy angler and a very happy car pound. Right, let's uh, get the little beastie out and show you what we got. Well, here is number three. And another absolute gorgeous beastie as well. It's a lovely fish. Do you reckon to that, Henry? It's looking nice, isn't it, mate? Hey? Is that a nice looking fish? It's a very nice looking fish. If you stop splashing. So here is number three, the result of that last fight. Have a look at that. <laughs> oh man, what a session we are having for December. I only wanted one fish for Christmas, I got three. And they've all been absolute peaches to say the least. And this one is in no doubt another world of his own. What a wicked, wicked fish. I know I keep using that word a lot, but uh, what else can you, can you describe these things as? Absolutely amazing. Oh, and I've had so many little liners as well. I've recast the rods and I'm still getting lots of liners on that same rod. I have no doubt, hopefully, we might get another one before nightfall. But uh, yeah, what a lovely session. What a lovely morning and sort of uh, early afternoon we've had. Come on. Let's just show you the other side of this beastie. Does it covers me? Hang on, fella. Got a few more scales this side. Those are boats. There we go. <laughs> wow. Fantastic, eh? Absolutely awesome in there. Dark winter colours. Uh, they don't get much prettier than that, to be fair, do they? So, yeah, over the moon to say the least. Really, really happy. 27.2 <laughs> of beautiful winter carp. Mwah. Thank you very much. Right. As we say again, let's get this one back and uh, we'll put the kettle on, have a cup of tea and try and warm our cockles up because I am freezing. Let's get you back, mister. Well, here we are guys. This is the uh, middle of the afternoon now. It's getting on for sort of just after two o'clock. All very quiet uh, since we had that 27, um, but to have free fish on a December session is just unbelievable. You know, they've all been amazing looking fish as well. So yeah, absolutely chuffed to bits. The hound is having his afternoon siesta right now. So I'm leaving him having a nap in the bivvy. I've come outside, gonna have a bit of a walk about, but um, I haven't seen nothing to go on. Like I said, it's been very, very quiet fish front. I have had a couple more beeps on this right hand rod. This is the rod that's been doing uh, the free fish on. Um, all fall into very, very slow sinking pop ups. What I like to do is actually cast out. Um, I cast out with the actual white foam. And what I want to do, I want the rig to actually get to the bottom with the foam on. So it sits up upright like that. And then once the foam melts, the rig's balanced. So it kicks away, away from the actual leader and sits there prime ready for a bite and then that's how I'm fishing with that of uh, central cell pop-up and like I say I'm just peppering sort of between 35 and 50 baits around that area and they've all come to that so far so that's what I've repeated the process as they are right now so uh, who knows we've got one night left we're on our toes in the morning it is open for one more fish carp greed has set in always does and it once you've had one you want two once you have two you want three and so on but uh, yeah can't ask for more than what we got so far. I'm going to finish my brew, hopefully speak to you guys shortly. Oh, my God. 
cold is it? It is absolutely freezing cold. Good morning everybody. Uh, nothing to report, very very quiet. As you can see it was Baltic here last night. Really cold, got down to sort of minus three and uh, yeah everything is frosted up. Uh, we were cold weren't we buddy? We were cold. Um, but I've got a couple of hours left. I'm just about to start getting things together and packing up but uh, there's no sign of life whatsoever this morning. First light, I've seen absolutely nothing. But um, you never know, fishing can happen at the 11th hour, so um, I'll start me pack up. If out happens, you'll be the first to know. Isn't that right, bud? Yes. Yes, Mr. Henry. Well, that is it. Uh, Barra is loaded, we are ready for home. I am absolutely freezing. I've seen nothing. It is literally just like a mill pond at the moment. There's nothing going on. Uh, so yeah, definitely ready for home. But I could say middle of December, cold conditions, managed three fish and one of those being an awesome looking 35. To be fair, they're all awesome fish. Any, any, any fish this time here is a good fish to be fair. So uh, more than happy, a happy angler. A happy hound who's up my feet chewing sticks at the moment yet again but uh, I just want to say thank you ever so much for watching the blog I hope you enjoyed it and uh, what I'm going to do now is probably film all my winter campaign and then come out with a sort of a full blog in the spring of what happened during the winter itself so I'll be visit visiting different venues a couple of day tickets as well mashing it all together for a blog around sort of middle of spring I'm guessing so uh, it's all good so once again thank you for watching catch you on the next one all the best if you're out there guys